don't have the manpower to take the castle. Either we find another way in, or give up this nonsense and go and get the Templars. Redcliffe is in the hands of a Magister. This cannot be allowed to stand. The letter from Alexius asked for the Herald of Andraste by name. It's an obvious trap. Isn't that kind of him? What does Alexius say about me? He's so complimentary that we are certain he wants to kill you. Not this again. Redcliffe Castle is one of the most defensible fortresses in Ferelden. It has repelled thousands of assaults. If you go in there, you'll die. And we'll lose the only means we have of closing these rifts. I won't allow it. And if we don't even try to meet Alexius, we lose the mages and leave a hostile foreign power on our doorstep. Even if we could assault the keep, it would be for naught. An Orlesian Inquisition's army marching into Ferelden would provoke a war. Our hands are tied. The Magister... ...has outplayed us. The Magister's son, Felix, told me Alexius is in a cult that's obsessed with me. I doubt they'll graciously receive our apologies and go about their business. They will remain a threat and a powerful one unless we act. We cannot accept defeat now. There must be a solution. Where is the Earl of Redcliffe? I'm sure he'd help us get his castle back. After he was displaced, Arl Tegan rode straight for Dunarim to petition the Crown for help. I doubt he'll want our assistance once the Ferelden army lays siege to his castle. Wait. There is a secret passage into the castle, an escape route for the family. It's too narrow for our troops, but we could send agents through. Too risky. Those agents will be discovered well before they reach the Magister. That's why we need a distraction. Perhaps the envoy Alexius wants so badly. While they're focused on Lavellon, we break the Magister's defenses. It could work, but it's a huge risk. Fortunately, you'll have help. This man says he has information about the Magister and his methods, Commander. Your spies will never get past Alexius's magic without my help. So if you're going after him, I'm coming along. The plan puts you in the most danger. We can't in good conscience order you to do this. We can still go after the Templars if you'd rather not play the bait. It's up to you. Announce us. The Magister's invitation was for Mistress Lavellon and no one else. You lot wait here. They have to accompany me. You wouldn't deprive me of my attaches, would you? My Lord Magister, the agents of the Inquisition have arrived. My friend, it's so good to see you again. And your associates, of course. I'm sure we can work out some arrangement that is equitable to all parties. Are we mages to have no voice in deciding our fate? Fiona, you would not have turned your followers over to my care if you did not trust me with their lives. If the Grand Enchanter wants to be part of these talks, then I welcome her as a guest of the Inquisition. Thank you. The Inquisition needs mages to close the breach, and I have them. So, what shall you offer in exchange? Nothing at all. I'm just going to take the mages and leave. And how do you imagine you'll accomplish such a feat? She knows everything, Father. Felix, what have you done? Your son is concerned that you're involved in something terrible. So speaks the thief. Do you think you can turn my son against me? You walk into my stronghold with your stolen mark, a gift you don't even understand, and think you're in control. You're nothing but a mistake. If I'm a mistake, what exactly was the breach supposed to accomplish? It was to be a triumphant moment for the Elder One. For this world. Father, listen to yourself. Do you know what you sound like? He sounds exactly like the sort of villainous cliché everyone expects us to be. Dorian. 
I gave you a chance to be a part of this. You turned me down. The Elder One has power you would not believe. He will raise the Imperium from its own ashes. That's who you serve? The one who killed the Divine? Is he a mage? Soon, he will become a god. He will make the world bow to mages once more. We will rule from the Boric Ocean to the Frozen Seas. You can't involve my people in this! Alexius, this is exactly what you and I talked about never wanting to happen. Why would you support this? Stop it, Father. Give up the Venatori. Let the Southern Mages fight the Breach, and let's go home. No. It's the only way, Felix. He can save you. Save me? There is a way. The Elder One promised, if I undo the mistake at the Temple... I'm going to die. You need to accept that. Seize them, Venatori. The Elder One demands this woman's life. Your men are dead, Alexius. You are a mistake. You should never have existed. No! Blood of the Elder One. Where'd they come from? Interesting. It's probably not what Alexius intended. The rift must have moved us to what? The closest confluence of arcane energy? The last thing I remember, we were in the castle hall. Let's see. If we're still in the castle, it isn't. Ah, oh, of course, it's not simply where, it's when. Alexius used the amulet as a focus. It moved us through time. Did we go forward in time or back, and how far? Those are excellent questions. We'll have to find out, won't we? Let's look around, see where the rift took us. Then we can figure out how to get back. If we can. What was Alexius trying to do? I believe his original plan was to remove you from time completely. If that happened, you would never have been at the Temple of Sacred Ashes or mangled his Elder One's plan. I think your surprise in the castle hall made him reckless. He tossed us into the rift before he was ready. I counted it. The magic went wild, and here we are. Makes sense? It just seems so insane. I don't even want to think about what this will do to the fabric of the world. We didn't travel through time so much as punch a hole through it and toss it into the privy. But don't worry. I'm here. I'll protect you. There were others in the hall. Could they have been drawn through the rift? I doubt it was large enough to bring the whole room through. Alexius wouldn't risk catching himself or Felix in it. They're probably still where and when we left them. In some sense, anyway. Alexius mentioned an elder one in the hall. Do you know who he was talking about? Leader of the Venatori, I suspect. Some magister aspiring to godhood. It's the same old tune. Let's play with magic we don't understand. It will make us incredibly powerful. Evidently, it doesn't matter if you rip apart the fabric of time in the process. Then let's go. I'm right behind you. Untrust these sacred knickers. You're alive. Where were you? How did you escape? We didn't escape. Alexius sent us into the future. Everything that happens to you is weird. You might be right about that. I'm always right. And when I'm not, I lie about it. So, what are you doing here? Or did you come back just to trade quips with me? We get to Alexius, and I just might be able to send us back to our own time. Simple, really. That may not be as easy as you'd think. Alexius is just a servant. His Elder One assassinated the Empress and led a demon army in a huge invasion of the South. The Elder One rules everything. What's left of it, anyway. Alexius is really not the one you need to worry about. Assassinations, invasions, and demon armies. I'm a little glad I missed all that. Yeah, you lucked out there. You want to take on Alexius? I'm in. Let's go. Saw you die. The spell Alexius cast displaced us in time. We just got here, so to speak. Can you reverse the process? 
You could return and obviate the events of the last year. It may not be too late. I'm glad you understood what he just said, because I'm not sure I did. You would think such understanding would stop me from making such terrible mistakes. You would be wrong. This world is an abomination. It must never come to pass. You're alive. I saw you disappear into the rift. Fiona, is that really you? What's left of me? Can you tell us the date? It's very important. Harvest Mia. 942 Dragon. 942? Then we've missed an entire year. I'm here now. No matter what, I'll drive them all back to Tevinter. Not Tevinter. Alexius serves the Elder One more powerful than the Maker. No one challenges him and lives. That Magister's going to regret he didn't just kill me. Our only hope is to find the amulet that Alexius used to send us here. If it still exists, I can use it to reopen the rift at the exact spot we left. Maybe. Good. I said, maybe. It might also turn us into paste. You must try. Your spy master, Leliana. She is here. Find her. Quickly. Before the Elder One learns you're here. I will die first. Or you will. You're alive. We never died in the first place. Alexius miscalculated. Then it will be his last mistake. Do you have weapons? Good. The Magister's probably in his chambers. You aren't curious how we got here? No. Alexius sent us into the future. This, his victory, his Elder One, it was never meant to be. I need to find Alexius and reverse the spell. If we can get back to our present time, we can prevent this future from ever happening. And mages always wonder why people fear them. No one should have this power. It's dangerous and unpredictable. Before the breach, nothing we did... Enough. This is all pretend to you. Some future you hope will never exist. I suffered. The whole world suffered. It was real. No Venatori this time, Alexius. Where is the trap? Your guards? There's no longer any point. I knew you would appear again. Not that it would be now, but I knew I hadn't destroyed you. My final failure. Was it worth it? Everything you did to the world, to yourself. It doesn't matter now. All we can do is wait for the end. I expected a bit more fight out of you. Alas, I am not the foe you remember. All that I fought for, all that I betrayed, and what have I wrought? Ruin and death, that is nothing else. The Elder One comes for me, for you, for us all. <sighs> Felix. That's Felix. Make his breath, Alexius. What have you done? He would have died, Dorian. I saved him. Please, don't hurt my son. I'll do anything you ask. You didn't save him, Alexius. No one should live like that. <laughs> no. No! He wanted to die, didn't he? All those lies he told himself, the justifications. He lost Felix long ago. 
didn't even notice. Oh, Alexius. This Alexius was too far gone. But the Alexius in our time might still be reasoned with. I suppose that's true. This is the same amulet he used before. I think it's the same one we made in Minrathus. That's a relief. Give me an hour to work out the spell he used, and I should be able to reopen the rift. An hour? That's impossible! You must go now! Cannot stay here. We'll hold the outer door. When they get past us, it'll be your turn. No, I won't let you commit suicide. Look at us. We're already dead. The only way we live is if this day never comes. Cast your spell. You have as much time as I have hours. Though darkness closes, I am shielded by flame. Andraste, guide me. Maker, take me to your side. You move, and we all die! <laughs> You'll have to do better than that. Is that the best you've got? You won. There is no point extending this charade. Felix. It's going to be all right, Father. You'll die. Everyone dies. Glad that's over with. Or not. Grand Enchanter Fiona. Queen Anora. When I granted your mages sanctuary, I thought it was understood that they would not force my people from their homes. Your Majesty, let me assure you, we never intended any of this. Your intentions ceased to matter when my people were threatened. I am rescinding my offer of sanctuary. You and your followers will leave Ferelden at once. But we have hundreds who need protection. I should point out that we did come here for mages to close the breach. And what are the terms of this arrangement? Hopefully better than what Alexius gave you. The Inquisition is better than that, yes? They have lost all possible supporters. The Inquisition is their only remaining chance for freedom. I've known a lot of mages. They can be loyal friends if you let them. Friends who make bad decisions, but still, loyal. It seems we have little choice but to accept whatever you offer. We would be honored to have you fight as allies at the Inquisition's side. A generous offer, but will the rest of the Inquisition honor it? The Breach threatens all of Thedas. We cannot afford to be divided now. We can't fight it without you. Any chance of success requires your full support. Whether you accept the Inquisition's alliance or not, you will leave my kingdom. We accept. It would be madness not to. I will gather my people and ready them for the journey to Haven. The breach will be closed. You will not regret giving us this chance.
It's not a matter for debate. There will be abominations among the mages, and we must be prepared. If we rescind the offer of an alliance, it makes the Inquisition appear incompetent at best, tyrannical at worst. What were you thinking, turning mages loose with no oversight? The veil is torn open. We need them to close the breach. It's not going to work if we make enemies of them. I know we need them for the breach, but they could do as much damage as the demons themselves. Enough arguing. None of us were there. We cannot afford to second-guess our people. The sole point of the Herald's mission was to gain the mages' aid, and that was accomplished. The voice of pragmatism speaks. And here I was, just starting to enjoy the circular arguments. Closing the breach is all that matters. Closing the breach will require a lot of magic, and that means lyrium. I have contacts who can help. Contacts meaning smugglers? Send them word. We need every advantage. We have legitimate lyrium supply lines already. And they don't need to hear of this. Keep it under the table, and I'll do what I can to quiet rumors. We should look into the things you saw in this dark future. The assassination of Empress Selene. A demon army. Sounds like something a Tevinter cult might do. Orle falls, the Imperium rises. Chaos for everyone. One battle at a time. It's going to take time to organize our troops and the mage recruits. Let's take this to the war room. Join us. None of this means anything without your mark, after all. And I'd hope to sit out the assault on the breach. Take a nap, maybe go for a walk. What is it they say? No rest for the wicked. Meet us there when you're ready. I'll skip the war council, but I would like to see this breach up close, if you don't mind. Then you're... staying? Oh, didn't I mention? The south is so charming and rustic. I adore it to little pieces. I must admit I'm surprised. We both saw what could happen, what this Elder One and his cult are trying to do. Not everything from Tevinter is terrible. Some of us have fought for eons against this sort of madness. It's my duty to stand with you. That future will not come to pass. There's no one I'd rather be stranded in time with, future or present. Excellent choice, but let's not get stranded again anytime soon, yes? I'll begin preparations to march on the summit. Make a willing, the mages will be enough to grant us victory. <laughs>